welcome back you lovely lot and a big warm welcome to anybody new joining our channel today guys i have this beautiful pastel set for you we're going to be using not polish i will list everything below that we're going to use today because there's about seven or eight different acrylics i usually i don't normally use that many i only normally use you know two three then glitters but no i've gone all out we're going to use pastels from not polish and i fell in love with this set when it was finished i knew i was going to do pastels and i knew i was going to do swirls i've ombre them today we've got a lot of ombre going on on the little finger we're going to do a vertical ombre i'm going to switch it up on the uh, pointer and the ring finger we're going to do like little triangles but they're still going to be ombre when i ombre guys i put down the color fade it back fade it forward and then i leave it to set a little bit i don't go straight in with the next color so i will work on two hands at a time now i did let that peach set up there i think it's called sunrise coral something like that i'll get the names i'll get them in a minute for you um i let that set up i was talking to uh to my old man and then by the time i turned around it was it was all set up his uh he was standing behind me doing some jobs and uh we were having a chat while i was while i was doing this set so guys swirls they're all in aren't they i mean i've already done a set with the swirl design i will link that above where you can go check that out i did it in nudes and a rose gold um it was beautiful but I thought what I'd do is we'd bring in lots of colour, lots and lots of pastels. It's spring. And we'd do something a little bit different with the swirls. So I've done the nail art of the swirls and then we've sugared it and it looks great. I said to uh, my nail friend today, I said to uh, Shell, I said, I'd wear these. I said, love, I fell in love with them when they're finished. And I went outside as well. In fact, if you stay right to the end... I've got a clip of them outside in the sun and oh my goodness, they sparkled like nobody's business. They were stunning. Much, much better than I ever expected them to turn out. I was, I loved them. Like I said, I would wear these. And also another factor is I'm doing a lovely almond shape. Now I don't usually do almond. I'm normally stiletto and um ballerina because i get more nail estate i can really get creative with the with the nail art but i decided to do a salon viable wearable to most people out there you know to show that you can have pretty nails even if they're not very long and i have got to say i've been wearing almond a lot i really do like that shape although guys and you're going to be horrified by this. I haven't had any nails on since Christmas. I have been up to my neck in it. If it hasn't been one thing, it's been another. And it hasn't been nails. So, uh, so yeah, it, I've gone back to nibbling again. Anybody think, you know, nobody ever fed me. Right, let's talk about this design, guys. So, I'm going to ombre all the way across the board. We are going to do a vertical ombre in three colours on the pointer and the little finger and the two middle fingers i'm going to do the bottom area then the left and then the right like so i go in with my bead i place that down i move it from left to right make sure that's covered around that c curve and then i will blend that back blend that up and then pat that into place cleaning my brush in between if I feel the need to come in with another bead at this point, I will. And I'll pop that down and I'm working really, really, really small beads. Two reasons for that. I don't want the colour I'm working on, in this case the yellow, to overtake what I've already done. And second of all, I don't want a big fat bulky nail. So that's why I'm working really... I would rather go in two or three times to get the colour that I'm after... Then go in with one big fat bead and then think, oh my God, I've just covered up my green. Do you know what I mean? So this is how I work. And that's all I can share with you is the way that I work. And then I'm going to go in with that top colour. I put that on backwards so that I can fade that back. 
and then get the dense colour at the tip there. So I pat and press that into shape, clean my brush, come in with another bead if I need to. If I feel like I need the secondary colour, in this case the yellow, to help it blend with the pink, I'll come in with a tiny wet bead and I'll just go back and forth until I'm happy with that ombre. So once I'm happy with my ombres, I'm going to leave that to set and I'm going to go on to the pointer finger and the little finger and I'm going to come in with Night Out. And I'm going to put a thin layer of that, really, really thin. It's a beautiful glitter acrylic. It's gorgeous. And then what I'm going to do is clear cap all these nails. Now I'm just going to show you me clear capping this one, but I do do all four. I will then file and buff them into shape and then guys we can come in with our nail art so I pull down take off any excess check the sides check the, from the tip make sure I'm happy with the shape and then I will clear cut the rest of those so once that's filed and buffed into shape guys we are going to be using Glossit top coat from not polish and i'm going to do that on all four nails pop that in the lamp and then i'm going to give that a full cure i am going to be using artisan white gel paint today for the design just making sure i've done all the way around and capped it and i'm going to start my swirl design I am also using the Nail Chemi Detailer Brush that comes with the Artisan Gel Paints. So what I'm going to do here guys is I'm going to do my swirl and I am not going to cure it. I'm going to do it on the ring finger. I can't think what the fingers are. The ring finger and the middle finger. And I am not going to cure it at all. I will do it thick at one part bring it round and making that line nice and thin swirl designs are everywhere right now so i thought i would do one on top of this beautiful pastel shade that we've got going on here and then we are going to sugar it you can use any fine glitter that you want to sugar and then what i would do is i would double cure this in the lamp and the reason I'm going to do that guys is that the LED lights in your lamp need to penetrate through that glitter through that thick gel paint and cure it if it doesn't it will peel off because once you finish that you will dust it off and your design is finished guys we have come towards the end of our video i really do hope you've enjoyed our little nail play today at the end i have got a close-up picture then like i said i did take it outside i wanted to see it in the sunlight because the sun's been out today so i thought i'd have a look and oh it was stunning i ran back in and got my phone so yeah i was really really happy guys you'll have to let me know below what you think and would you wear something like that do you prefer the little short nails or do you prefer the long nail estate let me know below guys thank you so much for watching please stay safe and until next time bye